The overall goals of the following presentation are to describe the principle of the chemostat, demonstrate their operation, and to provide examples of applications that use chemostats. This is achieved by first assembling the chemostat vessel, inoculating, and then continuously adding new media while removing old media and cells at a constant rate. Mathematical modeling describes the change in cell density and the change in concentration of a growth-limiting nutrient within each chemostat. The use of these equations allows for the prediction of a single, non-zero, stable steady state at which cell and nutrient concentrations are constant and the specific growth rate of cells is equal to the rate at which the cells are removed. By combining the precise control of cell growth and the environment within the chemostats with other technologies, results that enable systems-level investigations into cell growth regulation, genetic changes, and adaptive evolution are obtainable. The main advantage of this method of cell culturing over other techniques is that the growth rate is controlled and the cell's external environment remains constant. This method can help answer key questions in the fields of cell biology and evolution, such as what is the molecular basis of cell growth regulation and adaptive evolution in defined environments. Visual demonstration of this method is critical, as setting up and maintaining chemostat cultures is difficult to the large number of steps and components involved. Begin this procedure by first turning on the 6 fours system using the main switch. Next, thoroughly rinse the chemostat vessel.